this was supposed to be a town hall debate between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. But after the president contracted COVID, the debate commission announced it would have to be a virtual debate because of health concerns. The president then said he would not participate in a virtual debate. At that point, Joe Biden scheduled a town hall tonight in Pennsylvania on another network, and now the president is doing the same, his own town hall. Did the doctors ever tell you that they saw pneumonia on your lung scans? No, but they said the lungs are, you know, a little bit different, a little bit uh, perhaps infected. and uh, Infected you with? I don't know. I mean, I didn't do too much asking. When did you last remember having a negative test? Well, I test quite a bit, and I can tell you that before the debate, which I thought it was a very good debate, and I felt fantastically. I, I was, I had no problem before. Did you take a test on the day of the debate, I guess uh, is the I bottom line. I probably did, and I took a test the day before and the day before, and I was always in great shape. Do you take a test every single day? No, no, but I take a lot of tests. Okay, and you don't know if you took a test the day of the debate? Uh, uh, possibly I did, possibly I didn't. You've seen the pictures. There was an indoor reception. People yeah. were not wearing masks. My question to you is, at this point in the pandemic, knowing what we know, Shouldn't you have known better? Shouldn't the White House know better than to hold an event like that? Well, they do a lot of testing in the White House. They test everybody, including me, but they test everybody. And something happened. But as far as the mask is concerned, I'm good with masks. I'm OK with masks. I tell people wear masks. As the president, I have to be out there. I also know. Well, there's no one that says you can't be out there, but it's just about wearing masks and having, for example, your but rallies. I know this. Your rallies as don't require example, masks. No, no. I mean, let's see Kamala. She's got people now that people have it. And I'm not blaming her. I'm not saying, oh, she did a terrible thing. As president, I have to be out there. Do you support herd immunity as a strategy? Essentially, just let so, people get sick. The cure cannot be worse than the problem itself. We did the right thing. We were expected to lose 2,200,000 people and maybe more than that. We're at 210,000 people. One person is too much. It should have never happened because of China. It happened because of China. You were asked point blank to denounce white supremacy. In the moment, you didn't. You asked some follow-up questions. Who specifically? A couple of days later, on a different show, oh, you, you, you denounced white this. supremacy. No, you My always question do this. to you is: You've done this to me and everybody. Why does it seem like I denounce white supremacy? Okay, you did I've two denounced days later. white supremacy for years, but you always do it. You always start off with a well, question. Let me ask you about QAnon. It is this theory that. Uh, Democrats are a satanic pedophile ring and that you are the savior of that. Now, can you just once and for all state that that is completely not true so and that disavow know, QAnon yeah. in its entirety? I know nothing about QAnon. I just told I you. I know very little. You told me, but what you tell me doesn't necessarily make it fact. I hate to say that. I know nothing about it. I do know they are very much against uh, pedophilia. They fight it very hard. But I know nothing they about it. They believe it, it is if a you'd satanic like me call to run by the deep study state. The subject, I'll tell you what I do know about. I know about Antifa and I know about the radical left and I know how violent they are and how vicious they are and I know how they're burning down cities run by Democrats, not run Republican by Republicans. Republican Senator Ben Sass said, quote, QAnon is nuts and real leaders call conspiracy theories conspiracy theories. He may be Why right. not just say it's Can crazy and not true? He may be right. I just don't know about QAnon. You do know. I don't know. No, I don't know. Okay. No, I don't know you that. Just and neither, this and neither week, do you know that. Okay, just this week why, you why retweeted. Why aren't you asking me about Antifa? Why aren't you asking me about just, the radical you, left? You're why aren't you asking Joe Biden questions about why doesn't he condemn Antifa? Why does he say it doesn't exist? Because you're here Antifa, before me. No, she, nah, that's so cute. This week you retweeted to your 87 million followers a conspiracy theory that Joe Biden orchestrated to have SEAL Team 6, the Navy SEAL Team 6, killed to cover up the, f the fake death of bin Laden. Now, why would you send a lie like that to your followers? It. You Can retweeted That was it. a retweet. That was a, an opinion of somebody, but and that was a retweet. I'll put it out there. People can decide for themselves. I don't the take president. a position. You're not like someone's crazy uncle who no, can no, just retweet no, no. whatever. That was a retweet, and I do a lot of retweets. And frankly, because the media is so fake and so corrupt. If I didn't have social media, I don't call it Twitter, I call it social media, I wouldn't be able to get the word out. And the well, word, the word is, is false. and you know what the word is? The word is very simple. 
We're building our country stronger and better than it's ever been before. And Will you accept the results of the lose, election? That's the way I want it to be. But when I see thousands of ballots, right, unsolicited ballots being given out by the millions, and thousands of them are dumped in dumpsters, and when you see ballots with the name Trump military ballots from our great military, and they're dumped in garbage cans. That is a handful. We could go all night, which we won't. No, but no, we could go all night, every day. one by one, a single case, a single day. You're talking about 150 million votes. Your own FBI director says there is no evidence of widespread oh, really? fraud. Well, then he's not doing a very good job. Why did you only put in place a travel ban from China and not put in place other measures mitigating the spread of COVID-19, potentially saving tens of thousands of American lives. Well, I did put it in very early, as you know. Uh, Joe Biden was two months behind me, and he called me xenophobic and racist and everything else because I put it in. And it turned out that I was 100 percent right. I also put it on Europe very early because I saw there was a lot of infection in Europe. Did your national security advisor on January 28th in the Oval Office warn you that this would be the greatest national security risk read of your it, administration? No, he didn't, you, no, he he didn't, didn't. say it or I, you don't I remember? It, I read it someplace. Maybe Woodward said it or something. But no, he did not say that. But I knew it was a big threat. At the same time, I don't want to panic this country. I don't want to go out and say, everybody's going to die. Everybody's Isn't going there a middle okay. ground? You don't no, have to mislead, but you can. No, 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 there's not a middle ground. How are you going to get the United States back on track, both in terms of the economy and the pandemic? So it's happening. We just set a record, 11.4 million jobs. We are going to have a phenomenal third quarter, which will be announced on November 1st, just prior to the big November 3rd day, where I think you're going to see a red wave. After contracting COVID-19 yourself, has your opinion changed on the importance of mask wearing? No, because I was okay with the masks. I was good with it. But I've heard many different stories on masks. I mean, I had, you know, being president, you have people, they bring meals, they bring this. They, and I had a, an instance recently where a very wonderful person is bringing me a meal and he's playing with his mask and he's touching his mask all over the place. And then he's bringing a plate in and I'm saying, well, I don't know if that's so good. I am all well, for I it. I don't get that because it's just all of your public health officials, your administration, they're in unison Some. about this. No. They're all in unison no. about it. The you, University of Washington, which is a, a is a, a, they have a model that your coronavirus task force relies on, says that if everyone wore a mask, you could cut expected deaths in half. Yeah. And then 60, you have other people that lives. disagree. Hey, Dr. Fauci said don't wear a mask, right? At first, but then everybody agreed. Well, I don't know. Then he no. changed his mind. But then you have a report coming out two days ago that 85 percent of the people wearing masks. I looked at that it. report. It's not about mask wearing. It was neutral Savannah, on the question Savannah, of masks. We're on the same side. I say wear the mask. I'm okay. fine with it. Okay. I have no problem. We're on the same side. What is your plan now in 2020 to make health care costs affordable for Americans like Good. myself? So we got rid of the individual mandate on Obamacare, which was the worst part of Obamacare. And now you could actually say it's not Obamacare, because that's how big it was, where you had to pay a fortune for the privilege of not having to pay for bad health insurance. So we got rid of that. That was a big, big thing. And by doing that, and we will always have, by the way, we're always protecting people with pre-existing conditions, and I can't say that more strongly. On the pre-existing conditions, this is such a big issue for voters. It is a big issue for me, too. In point of fact, your administration is about to go to the Supreme Court to argue to That's throw right. out the rest of Obamacare, which includes the protections for pre-existing right. conditions. That's right. So your administration is in court right now trying to get rid of that protection. In order to replace it with a much better health care at a much lower price. Why not use your office to make the second stimulus payment a separate targeted emergency relief package to help Americans weather the pandemic. Well, we've actually passed three packages, but and we're on our fourth, and I agree with him 100 percent. He should vote for me. Back in early October, you one day tweeted, no more negotiations until, election, until after Election Day. I'm walking away. Then I think the next couple of days right. you said maybe we can do something targeted. Right. Then you said, I want a big, big bill. But then Senate Republicans said, no, we're not for that. So you are the matter. big deal maker. That's how come right. this is so, how, right. you yourself did, have did changed you positions. A, did you ever hear of a word called negotiation? We're negotiating, okay? But people are, people's lives are hanging you in the what? balance. And you know who I'm negotiating against? Nancy Pelosi, because she doesn't want to give the money. A lot of Americans think that corporations don't pay their share of taxes and want to see those tax rates increase. Right. 
What do you say to those Americans to maybe tell them why you want the corporate tax rate lower and why that helps them? It's a great question. We've created more jobs than this country has ever created. We were up to 160 million jobs. We were never even close to that number. We were just hitting 160 million jobs. Companies are pouring into our nation because of the tax rate. And if Biden comes in and raises taxes on everybody, including middle income taxes, which he wants to do, you will blow this thing and you'll end up with a depression, the likes of which you've never had. That's what's going to happen. On the subject Thank of you. taxes, as you know, the New York Times has obtained, it says, years of your tax returns, among other things. It says that you have debts of approximately $421 million that you have personally yeah. guaranteed and that will come due in the next four years. The question is, on behalf of voters, who do you owe $421 million okay, first to? Of all, let me ask you. What they did is illegal, number one. Also, the numbers are all wrong with the numbers they released. I'm very under, when I decided to run, I'm very under levered, fortunately, but I'm very under levered. Are you confirming that, yes, you do owe some $400 million? What I'm saying is that it's a tiny percentage of my net worth. That sounds and like you'll yes. see that soon. It's called mortgages. Yeah. People have a house to put a mortgage. Any foreign bank, any foreign entity? Not that I know of, but I will probably, because it's so easy to solve, and if you'd like to do, I will let you know who who I owe whatever small amount of money. I want to say two things. Number one, it's a very small amount of money. Number two, it's very straight. It's very, very straight. But it's a tiny percentage of the worth. You could clear this up tonight by just releasing your tax returns yourself. I mean, I, that's well, what I'll, I understand. I think what. people are just wondering. As you know, you're I'm the only. It. it turned out that I am yes, underwrote. The it. They IRS actually. Says, excuse me. No, no. But you but accused, the IRS says that doesn't stop you, you from releasing. But you accused me of not being underwrote previously, not and so did not. other people at NBC. And I am under audit. So are. that was solved. That's good. I am under audit. No person in their right mind would release prior to working out the deal with the IRS. And I'll go a step further. I'm treated very badly by the IRS. They treat me very, very badly. My son is here. They run the company. I don't run the company. You it know, also says that you, you paid know, $750 you, in taxes in the, the, the year you were elected. Yeah, is that true or not? It's a statutory number. It's a statutory. But it's is that, that true? I think it's a filing number. You pay $750. It's a filing or a filing fee. Every, most people here probably no, pay more. No, I don't know. Four years ago, Senate leadership said it was inappropriate to push through a nominee in an election year. Yet they fast-tracked your nominee for the Supreme Court just today. What do you say to the voter that thinks it's hypocritical to act in that manner and that they can't trust Republicans' word? So when I was elected and when a president is elected, they're elected for a period of four years. If you look at it and if you put the shoe on the other foot, if they had this, they would do it 100 percent. In 2016, you were on a, another show, actually another morning show, and you were asked whether President Obama should nominate a Supreme Court Justice Merrick Garland. And you said, I think the Senate should wait until the next president and let the president pick. Now, that was eight months before the election. Yeah. This is three weeks so, before the election. I have a lot of respect, by the way. So you, you have changed your position on this. I have a lot of respect for Judge Garland. I want to tell you that. But I'll tell you, the, the whole ball game changed when I saw the way they treated Justice Kavanaugh. I have never seen any human being, and I'm not just talking about Supreme Court, I have never seen a human being treated so badly with false accusations and everything else. You've mentioned uh, that you would like to see Amy Coney Barrett confirmed to the Supreme Court in case any challenges come up in connection with the election. Yeah. Do you expect her to rule for you? I think she'll have to make that decision. I don't think she has any conflict at all. If Roe v. Wade is ultimately overturned in the future, what protections would be put in place or kept for where the mother's life is in jeopardy in relation to high-risk pregnancies? Well, again, I'm not ruling on this. But what is your preference? Because it, it agreed that's not something you should talk to the judge about. But would you like to see Roe versus Wade overturned? I would, I would like to see a brilliant jurist, a brilliant person who has done this uh, in great depth and has actually uh, skirted this issue for a long time, make a decision. What will you and your administration do to better prepare our law enforcement officers to work in collaboration with the communities that they serve 
and also to protect the lives of innocent black and Latinos from police brutality and injustice. Right. I fully understand the question. And uh, I saw everything that you saw over the summer, and it was a terrible thing, a terrible thing to watch. Some people don't like it when I say it, but a lot of people agree. I have done more for the African-American community than any president, with the exception of Abraham Lincoln. Do you expect to pursue your previous efforts to cut the DACA program? Yeah. Why or why not? We are going to take care of DACA. We're going to take care of Dreamer. We, it's working right now. We're negotiating different aspects of immigration and immigration law. The DACA program, there are, under your administration, n no new applicants are allowed. And in fact, the DACA recipients now have to renew every year as yeah. opposed to every two years. So in fact, the DACA program has been well, curtailed by your administration. Well, what happened is because of the pandemic, much changed on the immigration front. Uh, Mexico is heavily infected, as you know, and we've made it very, very difficult to come in because of the pandemic and other reasons and crime.